It's a tablet. Let's unbox it. It's a Blackview Tab 70 Wi-Fi. Let's get straight into this. Left myself a slight little corner up so I could actually open this with convenience on camera. I've not opened this yet, obviously, and let's actually see what's inside. Okay, Apple, your weird opening thing is translated to taking too much time. Okay, we have the tablet itself. We have a little instruction thing, warranty card. We have a little charging charger. Instruction booklet and a cable, which I'm not even going to bother getting out. I think that's all that comes in the box. It is, there's nothing below there. Uh, not much going on, but it's a tablet. It cost me 70 British pounds. I'm going to leave the rest of the stuff in the box because I have nothing else to do. Let's physically look at the device. Okay. There you go. It's a screen. I'm guessing that's a power button. Yep. Might as well show you the tablet itself. It's got I said you have a look on the outside. It's got a power button, volume up and down. Nothing on that side. Speaker, speaker. Uh, uh, card slot. Um, charging port and a headphone slot. You remember headphone slots? And it's loading. Oh, look. Hi there. I mean, you don't really need to see me loading up a tablet and doing all the stuff. So I will do all of the loady stuff and then we will actually look at what the camera's like, uh, the tablet is like in a minute. We'll be back soon. And setup is complete. Hello, I'm here. As you can tell, it's the next day. I just thought I'd faff with it through the night just to make sure everything works. I'm going to put my password in. You will not get to see that because I use this password on other devices as well. But there you go. Android. Got Google thing. Got... All right. Let's first off check out YouTube, which is the main purpose of this thing. Obviously, we're loaded into my account. We're just going to load up a video so we can listen to the sound quality and see the quality of... Oh, is it Auto360? Oh, it is just... Yeah, I want 720p, obviously. Right, let's test auto rotate features. Yeah, viewing angles aren't actually bad. Downside is the, yeah, you have to go this way because speakers are at the bottom. Yeah, it rotates.
Okay, yeah, as you can see, YouTube works. What do you expect? Let's just check out cameras because I know you're all going to want to know how the camera quality is. There's the camera. It's not fantastic, I'm going to be honest. Not terrible, but not fantastic. And here's the selfie camera. It's even worse. Hello, here's my face. Yeah, this selfie camera is even worse. Let's turn that way. The, the, the average cameras, they'll, be, they'll do all right if you want to take pictures of, say, your family or your friends. But there's a contrast. This is what you're seeing. This is the quality through this camera. I think the camera on this makes this actually look a little bit better than it does in real life. But yeah, it'll be all right if you want to take pictures of family and friends and a little family video. But if you were to make any serious videos, i.e. a review, I would not recommend this. And yeah, that's about all I can talk about. Like, it works as an Android tablet. Uh, I will have to say there's a battery indicator up there that says 94%. Uh, overnight, I left it at 98 And when I came back again, six, seven hours later, it was at 97 So standby doesn't drain much battery. Although just doing these random little tasks has drained 3%. Although I am on maximum brightness, so take that with what you will. The battery life is about five hours, give or take. I didn't even have it fully charged, and it lasted a couple hours last night before I having to put it into charge. So I'd say about five hours if you're watching random stuff. Which isn't fantastic in this day and age, but in all honesty, most people will have a power bank or be at home. So I think five hours will do you just fine. There's not really much to talk about. It, it plays games. That, that it'll be capable of playing most like App Store games. And I guess you want to see like specs and stuff. Let's show you that. Uh, oh, about tablet. There you go. This is the tablet information. It, yeah, it, it does the job. It's going to be alright to sit there and randomly watch YouTube. Like, which is more, literally my plan for this anyway. It's going to be a YouTube, Disney Plus, Netflix tablet thing that I'm just going to use to sit there and just watch random YouTube and Disney Plus. For 70 quid, I, you can't really go wrong. If you want to get a cheap tablet for your kids or a cheap knock-around tablet for the house. So far, this is doing alright for me. It was £70. It's not fantastic. It's not. It takes a little while to start, which is a downside in it, in my opinion. But overall, it will do the job for 70 quid. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching this review. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please make sure you smash the like button, share and subscribe. And until next time, joyous viewing.